Hello everyone. Welcome to another live stream episode of II New Product Introduction. I am the product manager Judy, and I will be introducing II's first Intel Core Solution Box PC, GRPC 230ULT5. Hopefully, the word first had brought your attention. Most products that come with first usually mean there are some significantly differences apart from the series. For DRPC 230, it of course adopts the DIN rail compatible feature from its fellow predecessors. But besides that, it is the first time we launch a box PC equipped with Intel high performance Core CPU, upgrading from Atom to Core. We made it modularable. So, if you wish to expand functions, DRPC 230 has the flexibility to do so. And what is best, depending on your budget, you could decide whether to go for a Core i5 CPU or a more cost-affordable Celeron platform. Having all these great features, you may be curious: Where can I apply this product? You can say DRPC 230 is an ultimate gateway. It is applicable in various fields. It works for a production line. It's suitable for energy management and smart building. And DRPC 230 also could play a role in AI. As you can see from the structure, DRPC 230 have sufficient COM ports for devices that require low speed signal, like alarm or sensors. You can also connect HMI through RS232. For devices require high-speed signal, DRPC 230 has six USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which transmission speed could reach to 10 gigabytes per second. You can connect various devices and collect data too, and all these collected data could be sent to the database via Ethernet with RJ45 ports or wireless connections using Wi-Fi or LTE module cards. Same idea here in energy management. Consider the box PC as a powerful gateway to connect your end devices with the database. In an existing application case, the previous DRPC generation was implemented in a wind turbine, serving as a data collector and communication gateway. So you can imagine DRPC 230 could also do the work perfectly, but with higher performance. As I mentioned earlier, you are able to expand functions in DRPC 230. For DRPC 230, it is feasible to add PoE add-on cards and transform DRPC 230 into a PoE box PC. With the add-on card, it could support up to four PoE ports, delivering maximum 60 watts of power. Easy to drive devices such as IP cameras, wireless APs. And even panel PCs that are powered through PoE. With this integration, it could help a lot when structuring a smart building. So, speaking about smart solutions, what can be smarter than artificial intelligence? DRPC 230 plus II VPU Accelerator Card Mustin V100 equals an AI inference system. Object detection on your product production line, phase recognition for your store entrance, plate recognition for transportation management. These are all feasible through applying DRPC 230 with Mustang. So from the beginning up to now, I hope that we have delivered the big picture, the big concept of why we designed DRPC 230 and how it could be put into real life application. Getting close to the end of this live stream, I will just like to briefly go through the key components and some important specifications of DRPC 230. You can see from the picture here that there are a total of three SKUs. The standard core i5 SKU it has three gigabytes LAN ports, six COM ports with two in RJ45 form, six USB 3.2 Gen 2, the red USB ports. And dual displays that are placed on the top side. For the expansion SKU, also with Intel Whiskey Lake Core i5 CPU, it has a second layer which allows you to modularize the box PC. 
You could combine it with Mustang V100, make it into an AI inference system, or adding IEI GPOE card and becoming a PSE device. The third SKU, the Cost Affordable Whiskey Lake Silaron Platform DRPC230, also has abundant IOs and could expand functions as well. At the very end, there are a few important, important factors you should be aware of. Firstly, I5 and Celeron SKUs have different USB numbers. I5 supports 6 USB 3.2 Gen 2, while Celeron supports only 4. The remaining two are USB 2.0. Both have an M.2 A key expansion slot, but Celeron does not have the additional USB 2.0 signal. As for the mini PCI expansion slot, i5 and Celeron share the same signals, both suitable for adding LTE module or saving it for MSATA. Last but not least, I would like to highlight especially that the operating temperature stated here guarantee no CPU throttling would occur. Guaranteeing the product could always deliver a steady performance in the temperature range. This applies to all II products. So thank you all today to watch this live stream. If the video has triggered your interest in understanding more about DRPC230, please do not hesitate to scan the QR code and link to the related web page for details. Don't forget to subscribe II social media channels and receiving II's latest product info and exciting news. Thank you again and see you next time.